In the last few hours, President Obama signed a bill into law aimed at preventing suicides among veterans. 10 News reporter Melissa Masiha analyzed the staggering numbers and spoke to a military family who said more needs to be done. June 2013, Daniel Somers, a National Guard member who did two tours of duty in Iraq, committed suicide. Daniel had a heart of gold. Um, oh. <laughs> if he saw a problem, he wanted to fix it. And, and that's really, he just didn't have enough control to fix this problem. The Department of Veterans Affairs reports up to 22 veterans commit suicide a day. Dr. Howard and Jean Somers commended the president for signing the Clay Hunt Suicide Prevention for American Veterans Act. It would create peer support groups, a go-to website for mental health information, as well as give student loan incentives in order to recruit psychiatrists. And another thing. There's going to be independent oversight of the uh, mental health treatments in the VA facilities, and this is going to be done on an annual basis. The changes come on the heels of a scathing government report that found veterans with major depressive disorder did not always receive the recommended care. It also found data the VA collected on veteran suicides were not always complete or accurate. With Thursday's signing, our reporter in the Washington, D.C. Bureau said the mood on Capitol Hill is a positive one. This is kind of a rare show of bipartisan work. The Somers believe this is a good first step, but say there's no new funding for the bill. We really have our doubts that this one bill can help as much as we'd like to see the whole situation addressed. Melissa Masiha, 10 News. So many families affected. And to give you some perspective on why this is so important, especially here, San Diego has one of the largest populations of active and retired military in the country.